में इतना मिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात देश तारिणे जगत गुरु शिल प्रभुपाद के हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा we are extremely fortunate that on the pious festivity of Sharad Purnima, we all are listening to the transcendental divine pastimes of Rasa Leela by Lord Shri Krishna. About Lord Shri Krishna, there is one thing that is very famous. Krishna's one work has many, many goals that are accomplished by just one deed. He accomplishes many, many goals. There is a saying that one arrow and two focuses are aimed. But the Lord aims thousands with one arrow. So if we talk about this present topic of Rasa Leela, then there are many, many goals behind them. And to accomplish many, many woes, he has taken, he concludes it. And the main focal point, according to our learned scholar, Shri Kavi Karnapur and Sripa Jeev Goswami and many, many other scholars have expressed that this pastime of Rasa Leela is the victory of Kandarpa. So Kandarpa is the demigod of lust or Kamadev and to win over him, he has accomplished this. So if I ask you a question that Lord Sri Krishna, what does he eat? So this is my question. So fundamentally, he eats two things. And what are those two things? Do you feed them? So in the matter of essence, he eats only two things. And what does he eat? First, he eats the mellows of his devotee. He accepts the sentiment behind the service of a devotee. So, the Lord eats two things. He eats the Bhava or the transcendental mellow and the second thing he eats is the pride of a non-devotee and sometimes in the heart of a devotee if there is pride then the lord eats that as well consumes it as well so he dwells on these two things that's two things that he eat so in Brajalila, we see 
Brahma ji became prideful that I am the creator of this world and I have heard that the Lord has incarnated, or taking an incarnation. So he saw that the Lord was feeding his friends and was eating their remnants. And Brahmaji became quite prideful and he stole away all the friends of Krishna as well as the calves. Bhagavan Bhojan Karate or Patachala. The Lord was eating and he realized that Brahmaji has become prideful. He stopped eating and what did he eat? He ate the pride of Brahmaji. So, as I've already mentioned, that the Lord eats two things that is the mellow or sentiment, sentiments of a devotee and the ego or pride of devotee and non devotee alike. And then there is a pastime of Indra when he also became egoistic and he showered Samartak cloud. And Krishna broke the pride of Indra by carrying Giri Govardhan. And exactly after this Govardhan proclivity, Kamdev got prideful. So this Rasa Leela, according to our Vaishnava Acharyas or scholars like Jeev Goswami and Kavi Karnapur, this is the victory over the demigod of lust that is Kamadev, the Cupid God. So he became prideful that I have defeated so many, but today I will defeat Lord Shri Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So this Sharad Purnima is approaching. So he defeated the moon demigod. If we see the qualities, on seeing the qualities of moon god, Brahmaji made him the presiding deity of nectar or medicine, etc. But Chandrama was also, or the moon demigod was also not spared by this demigod of us, that is Kamdev. And he did such a bad activity. What shall I speak? He abducted his, the wife of his spiritual master. His spiritual master is Braspati Dev's wife, who is like a motherly figure for him. And he begot a son from her. So even moon demigod was also not spared by the demigod of lust. He defeated Brahmaji as well. Brahmaji had this question that his, he started running behind his own daughter Saraswati. He didn't spare Lord Shiva, highly detached. Shiva, who was in his trance, come, came, and he had to open his third eye. And if we move further, then even Naraji was had to face. Although Naraji is an exalted devotee, he was performing his devotional service. And Naraji got so entangled that he had he got this desire to marry 
who is a celebrates his childhood he entangled him in such a manner that he got this desire to get married he saw a beautiful city and he went to the king he said that i have a beautiful daughter so whose name is vishwasundari that is miss universe so he said that you come here and bow down and take blessing so he got this desire to i want to marry and when naraji realized that the form that i carry nobody will find me suitable to get married to everybody will just seek my blessing but nobody will marry me so he remembered lord shri vishnu as it till now i have devoted my life to you and haven't asked anything in return but today i have this desire vishnu ji asked what is your desire he said where when i go to shiv lok i see that he is playing with his kids brahma ji also has his wife and children even you all are married including you so even i am thinking i should get married as he was blinded by the demigod of plus that is kamadev so he said that by this in this form nobody will marry me so so he says that can i borrow your form for a while he was so blinded by the by the desire of his lust that he didn't even realize that that form cannot be taken on rent when this lust arises then no matter how great a wise scholar you are but you will lose your control it can it destroys the wisdom of the wise people it throws away their mind their wisdom out of the window so calm affected him so much that naraj ji could understand so vishnu ji said that whatever is suitable for you as you are aware so next day there was this swayamvar so vishwasun that he didn't put the garland in his neck and he saw that narad muni was given the form of a monkey he said that i wanted to be pleasant handsome and he has given me the form of monkey he, so he was worried anxious and he lost his anger and in the same line lord vishnu was sitting and this vishwasundari selected lord vishnu and naraj ji lost his control he is a devotee he is an exalted stalwart devotee so this is what a desire can do this is what i'm doing so lord vishnu took vishwasundari who is a form of lakshmi ji he was taking the on a chariot and naraj ji was walking vishnu ji said do you you can accompany me in my chariot naraj ji when somebody is in anger he doesn't understands what's happening and as soon as he sat in the chariot he saw vishwasundari there and he told lord vishnu you have so many ways you could have left at least one for me you cannot tolerate that i marry just even one so there's so many things he said so there was a solution and he was his attachment was removed so naraji said that one thing i could 
understand that why you gave me a monkey face or a form of a monkey then he said oh Narad I gave you a face of a monkey because after marriage if you become monkey throughout, throughout your life it's better that for one day I gave you this form to save you from becoming a monkey afterwards forever I have saved you from your lustful desires so it implies that Kamadev has not spared anyone Shiva, Brahma, Indra so on and so forth and in regards of Kamadev Tulsidas Ji writes as jogi satapas paavarahi ki ko kahe bhaye kaam bas jogi satapas paavarahi कि को कहे देख ही चराचर नारी मय जे ब्रह्म मय देखत रहे अब लावी लो कहीं पुरुष मय जगु पुरुष सब अब लामयम दुई दंड भरी ब्रह्मांड भीतर काम कृत कौतुक अयम गोस्वामी जी रामायण में लिखते हैं गोस्वामी जी राइट्स इन रामायण भाई काम बस दैट दिस Calm has controlled everyone to whom Jogi, great great aesthetics and sages and saints, you have seen the list of Brahma, Chandra, Shiva, Narad. So nobody was spared. For example, Shobri Muni, he had performed austerity for 60,000 years, but when he's so, a fish, he married with 50 women. So, even the yogis were not spared, nor the austere sages. So, if they are not spared, then what about people, ordinary people like us? Where do we stand? काम जिसके मन पर सवार होता है द वन हु इज ब्लाइंडेड बाय लस्ट ब्रह्ममयी देखत रहे जो बड़े-बड़े लोक जगत एंड द ग्रेट सेजेस हु सी द लॉ द वर्ल्ड एज ब्रह्ममय दैट इज अब लावी लोग कहीं द लॉर्ड इज ओनली प्रेजेंट दे जगत को आर सो ब्लाइंडेड दैट दे लुक द होल वर्ल्ड एज फीमेल एंड वाइस वर्सा And these all are the plays of lust or how it plays. So when they all were defeated, he also became proud that to, now I am going to defeat Lord Shri Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. I have defeated all of them and made them incur sin so to now i will make lord krishna and Jesus. because kamdev also thought that krishna is the ordinary coward boy and he called krishna on the battlefield and he said that if you are the supreme personality of god then you should fight with me then on the night of Sharad Purnima was decided and 100 crore gopis 
created this fort and in this Kamadev entered and who are his associates that is Sharadiya Purnima so the night of Sharadi Purnima which is in favor of the demigod of lust or the cupid of God and who is who supports that is the wharf of Yamunaji the fragrant air that flows so they all started supporting him and then on the banks of Yamunaji this Rasa dance started and it kept on going Shripa Jeev Goswami writes that it was equivalent to the Ra night of Brahmaji. The duration of this Raslila was the duration of one night of Brahmaji. And Kamadev tried his best. Thousand years of that night, and this Raslila was performed. And then the lust god has used all his efforts. Then he bow down and fell down at the lotus feet of Lord Shri Krishna. <laughs> and that is why he is addressed as Manmatha. Tasam avir bhut chauri smaya mana mukham bujaha pitam bara dharas taragvi Sakshat man matha man matha. Man matha man matha. Man ko mathne wala hai ka. So, the mind is bewildered or bewildered by this lust. But this lust was bewildered by Lord Shri Krishna. And therefore, he is addressed as Madan Mohana. Madan means the lust god. The Cupid God and Mohan is the one who attracts him. So in this manner, this is the reason mentioned that why he performed this Rasarila to become victorious over the demigod of lust. So, although the atmosphere was opportune and in favor of Kamadev, but yet he was defeated. The Lord is infallible in all his activities, speech, etc. So, he was untouched and so this proclivity was accomplished or concluded so in this past time, in, if Lord Shri Krishna or the gopis had this material lust, then would Shukdev Goswami speak it? You all know the profile of Shukdev Goswami. He is the son of Vedvya Muni. And throughout his life, he had been the gradual of renunciation. He is a renunciate. And why will he speak on the proclivity of Rasarila? Because there is not an iota of lust and it is the pure transcendental divine love. But we, in this world, when we see the world, we look from our perspective. So, Madhusudan Prabhu is sitting here in front of me. So, if I ask, what is the size of Madhusudan Prabhu? Madhusudan Prabhu jacket pen ke bete hai. So, baal hai uske. But, mujhe itna dikhai dete hai. So, this is how much I can see him on my screen. Itni hai. Yadi Madhusudan Prabhu ko puchu. So if aap... I ask him, is this your size? 5.8, 5.9. He will say, 
a five eight, a five nine. So that is his perspective. But for me, I can just see this much. So in the pastime of the Lord is also similar. When we see the pastimes of the Lord, we look from our perspective. How much can we see from these material eyes? But the Lord's proclivities are eternal, uncomprehensible. So, in this proclivity, if there was even a ayutha of lust, then he wouldn't have spoken. And he is speaking this past time, and he is in such a high position that he doesn't even differentiate between male and female. It is said about Shukdev Goswami when he was born, he as a 16-year-old boy, he left his home and his father started running behind him to stop him. And then the past time, as you all are aware, that, that some girls were bathing in a river. And when they saw Shukdev, they caught Continued bathing, but when when they saw Vedvya Muni, they we wore their clothes and came in a modest form. They said that, "Have you seen my son?" And then Vedvya Muni ji asked this question: "When you saw Shukdev Goswami, you didn't had any thought, and you never thought of wearing clothes. But you saw me; you started wearing your clothes." I am the age of your great grandfather or grandson. Then the girls replied, Oh, beloved saint, oh, respectable saint, your son, Shukdev Goswami, doesn't differentiate between a male and a female. He sees the whole world as a supreme soul. And he said that, How did you realize? He said that when he was running, when he saw me, saw us, there was no change. His vision or mind was not transformed. But when you saw us, you stopped for a moment. So that implies, although you have written many, many Purans and Vedas and many, many Vedic scriptures and injunctions, but still you differentiate between men and women. And you saw, you're a man and you saw that they're girls, so you stopped there. So you had this thought of differentiation, but your son is a Paramhansa. He doesn't differentiate on the bodily platform. He sees everything as a soul. So he is the crystal of renunciation who is beyond this material nature. He was not coming from the womb of his mother. When Vedraji said that your mother is getting troubled and pained, so he said that I'm scared of this material potency of the Lord. The Lord came and said that I promise you that this material potency of mine will never touch you. Then he came out of the womb of his mother. So he is beyond these three modes of material nature and material potency of the Lord. And such Shukdev Goswami is speaking about the proclivity of Rasalila. Because these nowadays in this world, there are so many wrong comments and com perspective. Because, and they are also not wrong because they look at the Lord as according to their perspective. We cannot apply the rules of material world on the Lord. So we live in this material world and we try to apply these rules and regulations on the Lord also. So if there had been any policy in this, he wouldn't have spoken. And who is listening to this pastime? The Parikshit who is on his deathbed, who is just about to die in two days. Will he listen to this? If there was any shortcoming or material lust, then will Parikshit listen to this on his deathbed? No, this is the 
purest fast type or proclivity and the listener is great pariksha maharaj and devarishi narad and so many great great sages saints all are sitting and listening to this fast time so under this ras leela the the address by which he is address by shukdev goswami so if we had even just an ayota of plus then he wouldn't have addressed him as atmaram he would have not said told him that he is a yogeshwar but kameshwar but exact opposite of that shukdev goswami in this past time addressed krishna that he is atmaram he is beyond this lust and the shruti phal is mentioned in the last verse by shukdev goswami he says bhagwan sri krishna braj vadu braj gopiyo ke sath vikritam vishesh roop se jo ras krida kiye so this ras leela that he did with all the gopis of raja and in which vishnu so he took many many forms so krishna hazaro swarup mein ho kar and by taking these innumerable forms the dance rasa dance that he performed shraddha yan shunaya if someone listens with complete faith and allegiance then in the third line it is said bhaktim para bhagwati bhagwan ki param bhakti prati labhya prati labhya they will attain the unalloyed devotion of his to the lord so by listening to this past time they will get pure transcendental unalloyed devotion of his to the lord and kamam kamam hridaya roga so we all have this disease in our heart that is this desire of lust and which is is sleeping but when the time is appropriate then it raises its head and it make people in cursin or perform sinful activities entangle themselves in sense engage sense gratification but if someone listens to this past time then they will get relieved of this kama is ras leela mein aur sinful desires lustful desires so if someone just listens to this past time the person can get relieved of this material lust this is what shukdev goswami tells is the fruit of this past time and if you think that shukdev goswami is for then let's go to chaitanya mahaprabhu these are the words of chaitanya mahaprabhu vraj vadu sange krishner rasa devilas je i ha kahe sune kari ya vishwas सवा पांच सौ वर्ष पूर्व श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु चैतन्य महाप्रभु कृष्ण रास आदि विलासो फर्स्ट टाइम दैट वॉज परफॉर्म बाय कृष्ण अलॉन्ग विथ दीज denizens of raja and if someone listens but the condition is with faith allegiance so if someone listens with faith this is past time to kya hoga mahaprabhu if someone speaks or listens then chaitanya mahaprabhu says rid rog kaam tar tat kale hai shay so this is the disease of our heart and what is that hridaya rog mane hriday ka rog kya hai kaam 
that is calm or lustful desires. So if we listen with faith, then it will be destroyed immediately. And not only that, in our life, these three material modes of nature create so much distress. Sometimes we are ruled by the mode of passion, ignorance. Or... So when a person becomes in the mode of ignorance, then he becomes lazy or angry. And if he's in mode of passion, then he keeps on working like crazy to gather accumulate wealth. But a person who listens to this pastime will become wise, calm, and patient. And what more will happen? Ujwal Madhur Prema Bhakti Sehi Pai. He will attain the sweet, unalloyed devotional service towards the Lord. And when he will attain this Bhakti Rasa, then wherever he will go and whatever he will do, he will always be in bliss as he has attained pure Anala devotional service. But what are we supposed to do? We have to listen with allegiance the proclivity of Rasa dance. So this is the divine transcendental Rasa Lila of Lord Shri Krishna. And in this context, Shukdev Ji has spoken that Lord manifested as a human form. Why? So that to remove the lust in the hearts of all the material or all the living entities and to give them extreme bliss and happiness. So these are the days of Ras and Sharad Purnima is approaching near. So we all will are trying to listen the secrets of this pastime and to the medium of Srimad Bhagavatam, we will listen. But prior to that, let's do congregational chanting and we will sing the glories of this and we will dance so there are only two three days left so let's try to understand the same by dancing and chanting <laughs> Mãe 
ਮਹੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਾਨ ਜਾਵਾ ਮਈਆ
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण स्वागत है उपस्थित तो वैष्णवृंद का श्रीमद भागवत कथा के इस तृतीय दिवस में और परम सौभाग्य है कि हम सब यहाँ पर एकत्रित तो होकर यह सुंदर भागवत कथा का रसपान कर रहे हैं इसका जो विषय है वो हमारी कल्पना से परे है एक्चुअली देखा जाए तो बट फिर भी प्रभु जी की अनुग्रह हम सब पर अनुकंपा है कि हम सबको ऐसे विषय पर कथा श्रवण करा रहे हैं जो कि श्रवण करने से हमारे हृदय की काम वास्ता हम नष्ट हो सकती है और भगवत प्रीति हम हमारे हृदय में उत्पन्न हो सकती है तो हम स्वागत करते हैं और धन्यवाद करते हैं शिवा लाल गोविंद जी का कि हम सबको ये सुंदर दिव्य कथा का रसपान करा रहे हैं और साथ ही साथ स्वागत और धन्यवाद हमारे पटेल परिवार का जिनके सुंदर मनोरथ के कारण बस हम सब यहाँ पर एकत्रित हुए हैं और इस सुंदर भागवत कथा का रसपान कर रहे हैं जिसमें हम यह सुंदर विषय हाँ रास का रहस्य जो कि यहाँ पर प्रभु जी इसको हम सबके बीच में डिस्क्लोज कर रहे हैं तो आइए हृदय से अभिवादन करते हैं महामंत्र उच्चारण करते हुए हमारे पटेल परिवार तथा तो श्रीमा भगवान को इंटरव्यू जी का हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण तत्पश्चात हम स्वागत और धन्यवाद करते हैं समस्त अमृत चर्चा परिवार के जो श्रोतागण है जो कि आज यहाँ पर यह कथा श्रवण करके अपने आप को कृतार्थ करने हेतु जो एकत्रित हुए हैं तो आप सभी वैष्णव का हम स्वागत और धन्यवाद करते हैं विशेष उन वैष्णव का जो की प्रथम बार यह भागवत कथा श्रवण करने हेतु यहाँ पर एकत्रित हुए है तो वह वैष्णव जो कि हमारे यजमान परिवार के द्वारा आमंत्रित और यह कथा श्रवण करने आए हैं और इसके अलावा और भी भक्त जो कि किसी न किसी के माध्यम से यू नो इस भागवत कथा का पाठ बने हैं वी वुड लाइक टू थैंक देम एज वेल एंड वेलकम देम एज वेल और बहुत सुंदर उन सबको निवेदन भी करना चाहते हैं कि यदि आप इफ यू रियली लाइकिंग दिस कथा एंड would like to you know get notification in coming days as well so i request aap sabhi vishnu se ki aap hamare ek number hai jiske madhyam se aap aane wale un pratyek dino ki kathaon ko jaise hi aap you know is prakar hone wali hogi to aap hamare sath mein jud sakte hain so requesting you to kindly you know note this number so that aap aane wale pratyek karyakram ko hamare sath mein एक रिमाइंडर के रूप में यहाँ से आप प्राप्त कर सकते हैं कि जो श्रीमद लाल गोविंद जी यहाँ पर ये सुंदर विषय के विषय में हम सबको श्रोण करा रहे हैं कथा ऐसे ही नाना प्रकार के विषय है श्रीमद भागवत में जिससे कि हम हमारे जो सुषुप्त कृष्ण भावना है जो कि सोई हुई है इस वक्त उसको हम यू नो अवेकन कर सकते हैं और भागवत कथा श्रवण करने के साथ साथ उसको हम तो भक्ति में परिवर्तित कर सकते हैं अपने आप को और भक्ति मार्ग में बहुत सुंदर उन्नति करने का अवसर मिल रहा है हमें यहाँ पर कथा श्रवण करने के साथ तो आप सबसे अनुरोध है कि आप नंबर नोट कर लीजिए जो कि आप स्क्रीन पर देख रहे हैं इस नंबर के माध्यम से आपको आने वाले प्रत्येक कार्यक्रमों की सूचनाएं प्राप्त हो जाएगी जिससे कि आप हमारे साथ में जुड़ सकेंगे और यह सुंदर कथा को श्रवण कर सकते आशा करते हैं आपने इस नंबर को नोट कर लिया है और बहुत सुंदर यह कथा शोर कर रहे हैं जिसका तो शीर्षक बहुत ही अद्भुत है हम सब भक्तों के लिए और इसमें विलंब ना करते हुए हम निवेदन करना चाहेंगे परम पूछे राधा गोविंद गोस्वामी महाराज के पापा श्री शिष्य लाल गोविंद जी से 
कि वे आज इस तृतीय दिवस की कथा को हम संतोष पढ़ कर आकर की प्रार्थ करें धन्यवाद हरे कृष्ण जय जय श्री राधा रमण जय जय नवल किशोर जय गोपी चित चोर प्रभु जय जय माखन चोर जय जय माखन चोर श्री कृष्ण चंद्र भगवान की जगत गुरु शिल प्रभुपाद की उपस्थित हरे कृष्णा भगवत कथा अनुरागी पधारे हुए आई वेलकम ऑल द लविंग डिवोटीज ऑफ भागवतम डिवोटीज अटेंडीज परम सुशोभित करने वाले आई आल्सो एक्सटेंड माय वार्म वेलकम एंड ग्रैटिट्यूड टू द मेलोफुल सीनियर डिवोटीज दूर दूर से हु हैव डेकोरेटेड दिस असेंबली बाय देयर प्रेजेंस I also welcome you all who have joined through the medium of Govind TV Facebook YouTube etc all the listeners attendees devotees and the organizers of this beautiful katha the denizens of Ahmedabad and Chicago the whole Patel family परेश भाई और श्रुति माता जी श्रुति माता जी तुम्हें नाचता नहीं है हर दो दिवस तुम्हारे कुंडला में आऊं पड़ते सो और इनका पूरा परिवार बड़े भाई एंड देयर फुल फैमिली लीला बेन मयंक अनीता मयंक अनीता निमेश निधि नीलम नीत कुमार श्रीनी श्रीराज श्रीनी श्रीराज और एंड शौर्य जेनिता शौर्य एंड जेनिता अपने पावन पूर्वजों की स्मृति इन द रेवरी ऑफ देयर पाइस एंड सिस्टर्स श्री गंगा बेन श्री नंदू भाई गंगा बेन नंदू भाई श्री कोकिला बेन कोकिला बेन विजल पटेल ऐसे पावन पूर्वजों की So, in memory of such pious ancestors, the or this beautiful katha has been organized by this Patel family, and all of you on the third day of this Bhagavatam katha, I welcome you all. Welcome back, and please accept our humble obeisances at your lotus feet. So, हमारे लिए एक खुश खबर है सो देर इज अ गुड न्यूज तीन दिन नेक्स्ट थ्री डेज सब तो कथा सुनते आए ही है सुनते ही ऑल बीन लिस्निंग टू द कथा एंड वी विल कंटिन्यू टू डू सो बट इन द नेक्स्ट कमिंग थ्री डेज परम पूज्य श्री लोक His Holiness Loknath Goswami Maharaj and many many devotees. We all will listen to the katha together. And he has a special request that Kartik month is coming. So you should speak on the glorification of Kartik month. So we will listen to. For these three days, in the half session, we will listen to the glories of Kartik month. 
and many many senior devotees will be with us and if we get mercy then even loknath maharaj will be with us so you all should be very sincere and please so there will be a beautiful occasion although amit narayan prabhu was about to speak but i have spoken so param saubhagya jo hai so we are extremely fortunate as i mentioned yesterday that by speaking about the ways of the world i started speaking about the bhagavatam so the verse that glorifies bhagavatam although i may not be accurate but whatever i know i reveal it or share i think 90% i think it is written by sanatan goswami but it is very very powerful so let's start from this verse Adi Devam Karuna Nidhanam Tamalavarnam Suhita Vataram Apar Sansa रसमूद्र से तुम अपार संसार रसमूद्र से तुम भजाम हे भागवत स्वरूपम बहुत सुंदर है सबसे पहले तो फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट ही सेज तम आदि देवम तम आदि देव भगवान कृष्ण के लिए है तो ऑल दिस एड्रेस इज फॉर लॉर्ड श्री कृष्ण एंड हाउ इज ही दिस इज वर्थ नोटिंग this things the glories of bhagavatam kuch log kehte honge bhagavat kyu sunte ho bhagavat so some people will say that why do you listen or read the bhagavatam so you should just say that because of this word krishna ko teen sambodhan diye krishna kaise hai so adi devam there are the three addresses adi deva naam bhagavat ka which he is addressed krishna bhagwan he is the lord of all the demigods living entities and the whole world so how, how is he tam adi devam when we were kids then we used to say that whether the egg came first or the hen so first it was the root or the tree or the seed but the conclusion is here that the root of everything is lord shri krishna and karuna nidhanam you are the ocean of mercy you are the most merciful of all tamal varnam sharir ka rang and vruksh ke shaam are with the hue of similar to a tamal tree that is bluish or tam aadi dev the karuna nidhanam hue of a cloud ye sab krishna ab isme zyada detail mein nahi ja raha hu so i am not going into much more details if i start speaking then four five hours will elapse अवतारम 
is the soul of this this is the main adi deo karuna nidham kamal varnam bhagwan ki krishna ka avatar kyu hota hai so why does the lord appears krishna ka avatar kyu why does he manifest ab bhagavad gita mein to hum sunte hain ki so in bhagavad gita we listen ke liye that to destroy the evil doers So I was reading about a He said Krishna says Arjuna o oh Arjun dushkritam mein dushto ka vinash karne ke liye I come to kill the evil doer sadhu kya likhte hain then that sage response meri drishti se kaisi lagti hai it appears to me that to kill a mosquito a cannon is shot lekar kyu khade ho bhai aap ye tok phodne kyu ja rahe ho so why are you blessing this cannon to kill a mosquito asuron ko maarne ke liye avatar lena mane ek machhar ko krishna to incarnate to kill demons is as if like pehli baar suna a insect is to be killed by a cannon this is what i heard first time I like this analogy very much. Asuron ko maarne ke liye avatar lena ye kisi machhar ko maarne ke liye tok phodne ke barabar hai. Ek badi tok hoti hai na? Itna bada tok gola hota hai phodte hain. So there is a great cannon <laughs> which is used to kill a mosquito. So that cannot be a goal. The this cannot be the prime reason of his incarnation. वेलफेयर of the living entities so heat avataram wo heat so ke liye hit avataram that is for the welfare of great sages devotees so for their well being or welfare he appears mujhe andar se kya batau anand anand ho raha hai so i am feeling very very ecstatic that krishna appears for the welfare of his devotees krishna so that he can benefit the devotees then he thought that not only welfare but suhit matlab means completely beautifully to krishna ka avatar matlab swayam krishna so the incarnation of krishna as the singh vaman varah etc he krishna ka suhit avatar came for well being but krishna came or incarnated appeared in one form to beautifully or completely benefit his devotees and what did he do with this incarnation to cross this material ocean he created a bridge on by walking on that bridge you can just attain the eternal abode of the lord and for the be- complete benefit of this so that the living entities can cross this material ocean that is bhagavat swarupam it is not just for the benefit but for the complete benefit krishna can only benefit but bhagavatam can completely benefit us and what is this bhagavatam apar sansaram samudra se tum it is the bridge that can help us cross this endless material world of existence so this is the bridge on riding on which we can attain the eternal abode of the lord so I think this is Sanatan Goswami, and what does he say? I 
भागवत फॉर्म ऑफ द लॉर्ड बिकॉज इट इज कंप्लीट वेलफेयर इट हेल्प फॉर द कंप्लीट वेलफेयर ऑफ ऑल द लिविंग एंटिटीज it gives us direction and gives us an opportunity to enter into the unalloyed devotional service to the lord so such beautiful bhagavat medium we all are trying to understand with all humility the secret of rasa dance kuch dino se hum sun rahe hain ki bhai since quite many days we are listening that to understand rasa we need to understand rasa and you have heard little in past few days the material and the transcendental mellows relishment etc but this divine transcendental rest which is spiritual transcendental how can we attain this so to develop this what are we supposed to do so our the scholar from our disciplic succession shri srup goswami reveals that if we want this divine transcendental mellow to appear in our life then we need to do five things so first i have already mentioned first and foremost we should have an intense desire if we don't have a desire lekin uske sath ke baad then we won't be able to get it but along with that we require five more elements for this melo to appear we need to perform devotional service we should perform that kind of devotional service that all our shortcomings should be removed we should perform such emotional devotional service that we stop doing any offense and that should be under the guidance of a spiritual master or a bona fide spiritual master we should be relieved of all our sins offenses shortcomings etc for second hame at least is conclusion par pahunchna hoga we should con- come to this conclusion that the ultimate happiness in our life is by and only by association of the transcendental mellow full devotees and that can be the only benefit of this human life otherwise we won't be able to get a relish this rasa it will not appear and then the goal of our life should be only and only serving the lord usi ko jeevan ka ek matra uddesh banana hai and that should be the only goal of our life aur chautha and third shrimat bhagavat ko gehrai se sunna hoga we should listen to bhagavatam in detail aashray liye bina without taking the shelter of bhagavatam you won't be able to understand this because bhagavatam is the scripture of bellows as you might have heard pibat bhagavatam ras so it is a juice so to manifest this transcendental juice or bellow to appear in our heart we will have to understand bhagavatam in detail not outwardly but deeply inwardly bhagavat ke ek ek bhavo ko ek ek shabd ka aswadan so each and every word should be enjoyed then only we will be able to understand it antim hame and the fifth is bhagwan ki aisi gopaniya leela ke bare mein sunna hoga we should constantly listen to the secretive pastimes of the lord is guhiya leela ka chintan karna hoga we should always is guhiya contemplate on these pastimes and we should always have this intense desire to listen to that and the price or the qualification to listen to that we should try to attain that we should perform such devotional service that we should get to that stage 
and when we get or do these five activities then only we will be able to have this mellow in our heart to appear so rupa swami says who cannot enjoy uh, this those who are complete renunciate or denun so or detached so too much of detachment or renunciation is also not good it has been clarified clearly by rupa goswami and sanatan goswami as well we should not be that much detached that the heart becomes dry sometimes people become so detached that they just get detached from love and mellows at rest i remember the conversation between jad bharat and rahu guna what did bharat maharaj told him he said that by renunciation and austerity you cannot attain the lord so dry renunciation will not accomplish it our heart should be filled with mellows and love so madhvacharya well met a person who said that can you teach me how to i want to love the lord madhvacharya replied have you loved anyone in your life he said no i haven't loved anyone i just have one pointed reflection that i want to love the lord i just want to love the lord madhvacharya replied that do you have any practice of love on this material platform have you loved anyone your mother apne pita se nahi your father no apne koi girl friend koi to hoga matlab ek girl se nahi kiya he said no madhvacharya said that you should leave immediately because you do, you lack the circuit of love ko prem namak software hi nahi hai main kya download you don't have the software so how i am i going to download matlab itna bhi vairagya itni so we should not be that much detached that the heart becomes dry ye sushth hriday walon ka kaam nahi hai devotional service cannot be performed with dry renunciation basic level mein ye baat kar di hai rasi ka bhuvi bhav ka that is why shukdev go swami simply said that all the mellowful sentimental devotees who are filled with sentiment and devotion they will never be lazy to understand or listen to bhagavatam is prakar se sushth hriday walon ko ye ras kabhi milta nahi aur so those who lack this mellow cannot get this mellows sushth hriday walon ke samne and we should not speak in front of them ye to tum bhi aparadh kar baithoge tumhare because it will be offense for you and it will stop in you as well therefore the great sages that says these secrecy samay sab jagah nahi karte these courses are not done everywhere chaitanya mahaprabhu just tell me shri chaitanya mahaprabhu why did he appear on this earth shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is dharti par prakat hue the prem bhakti ka so he appeared to give devotional anala devotional service to the living entities that is what he has mentioned prem bhakti ka daan karne ke fir chaitanya bhagavat chaitanya charitamrit chaitanya bhagavat chaitanya charitamrit there is a past time that shrivas angan mein chaitanya mahaprabhu was in shrivas angan and he was performing congregation chanting and he used to close the door and nobody used to get an entry only quite few devotees used to be there a brahmana wanted to enter that i also want to come mahaprabhu refused him he came next day as well and repeatedly he was refused he cursed brahman ne sharap de diya lekin chaitanya mahaprabhu but chaitanya mahaprabhu didn't give him entry why drishti se vichar karo to chaitanya mahaprabhu ka avtar prem bhakti in one perspective he came here to aur wo brahman bichara give anala devotion service to others and when he the brahmana wanted to enter he was not permitted the reason being shri was angan he used to exchange the secret 
transcendental pastime and this namana was dry renunciate or dry and if you talk or in front of such people then your mellow also will be lost so a person whose heart is dry is not qualified to have this mellowful discussion or a part to be of this discussion so in one perspective this ras leela is a pastime or a proclivity but along with that it is also a stage so i'm just going to tell you a something that is worth understanding and relishable so ras leela is a proclivity but it is also a stage in any living entity there are four stages what sharir mein reh kar dhyan ke sunne when we live in this body bahar sukh dhoondna and to find try to find happiness in the material world so this soul is in the body and to try to find happiness outside is bhog avastha so you don't try to find any happiness in outside world like a restaurant or a movie theater or television etc but so those who try to find happiness in the material world they are in bhog avastha that is the lowest or the stage of sense gratification so the second is we live in this body and try to find happiness in that the soul that is yog avastha it is a better stage than this he has progressed he understood that you will not find happiness in this world the world is the earth is round wherever you go you won't find happiness so to find happiness in this material world being in this body is bhog avastha and to try to find happiness of the soul being in this body is yog avastha so what do the dhyanis and gyanis do they try to find happiness in the soul there is happiness in the soul but it is a part of the supreme soul so so we just get spark of that transcendental bliss so we will get happiness but that will be very very minute but it's better to try to find happiness in the material world so this is the second stage so the first is bhog in which you don't indulge then second yog which you might feel is small and uh, above this the third stage so let me revise this view so being in this body to try to find happiness outside this world is bhog avastha and then the second stage is to try to find it in the soul that is yog and the third stage is to get you we are in this body but we to, we are not concerned about this body and we get fixated on our soul and get association of the supreme soul so a yogi tries to find happiness in the soul but now he gets associated or attached to the supreme soul that is trance or samadhi so this is the third stage 
आत्मा में थी शरीर तो शरीर तो कुछ मायने नहीं रखता हम आत्मा so, है आत्मा में थी सन्निधि प्राप्त कर लेना ये समाधि अर्थ नहीं है मैंने तो भागवत में बच्चे राखवा नहीं है वेद व्यास मुनि को समाधि so, और वेद व्यास जी की समाधि का वर्णन आया तो वेद व्यास जी गॉट इन ट्रांस एंड इट वाज मेंशन अपश्यत पुरुषम पूर्णम मायाम च तद पाश्रयम समाधि किसे कहते हैं तो व्हाट इज दिस ट्रांस when you fix it are fixated on the soul and you get an association of the supreme soul that is trans or samadhi aap log ko lagti hogi na samadhi to nahi lagti maharaj neend lagti hai bahut acche se samadhi ab 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 duniya to yahi tak pahunchi hai duniya world has reached this stage samadhi mane that's it that's all so they trans is the ultimate goal but chit by the mercy of chitane mahaprabhu and shila prabhupad we got another step suniye sharir mein reh kar bahar sukh khojna so being in this body to find happiness in the material world is bhog to being in body and you try to find happiness in soul is yog and by being fixated nidhi prapt kar lena and the soul and to is attached to the supreme soul is samadhi or trans and when we get hum to sukhi ho jate hain this association with the supreme soul then we become blissful nidhi prapt karke hum log sukh ka by getting his association we relish or we start relishing that we but when the lord gets desire that this soul is near me परमात्मा जब लेने लगे परमात्मा एंजॉइंग द वेलोज ऑफ द विद द सोल देन दैट इज महारास दैट इज द स्टेज ऑफ ये है रास महारास के परमात्मा आत्मा का आस्वादन करे व्हेन द सुप्रीम सोल स्टार्ट्स रिलिशिंग द स्पिरिट सोल तो थ्रू द मीडियम ऑफ श्रीमती राधा रानी ये महारास है द द सोल इज एंजॉयड बाय द सुप्रीम सोल दैट इज महारास दैट इज व्हाई शिव जी में समाधि એટલે શું पर शिव जी समाधि इज व्हाट समाधि शुरू થાય इन अ मोमेंट इन अ ब्लिंकिंग ऑफ एन आई ही कैन गेट इनटू ट्रांस सब समाधि के बाद क्या है दे आर द लेकिन समाधि टॉप पोस्ट इज गोइंग इन ट्रांस बट even shankar is ras became an audience to listen to the proclivity of this rasadan samadhi lagne mein do minute nahi lagti vedvyas ji just referred to not even two moments this vedvyas katha sunne baith gaye kyun is sitting to listen to the past time of ras why because this stage of rasa is even better than the position of ras because at that time you just lekin parmatma enjoy the association of the supreme soul but when the supreme soul starts enjoying relishing the spirit soul then that is maharas that is the stage of maharas so there are types of ra so let's come to the leela ras ke bhi prakar hai so there are types of ras there are two types nitya that is eternal and maharas ek nitya ras aur ek maharas nitya ras jo hai na wo so this nitya ras is on every purnima purnima ke din jo ras hota hai use nitya ras kehte hain ya fir braj leela mein prati but in braj leela use nitya ras kehte hain तो दो चीज है या तो हर द रास दैट हैपेंस होता है या हर दिन रास होता है उसे नित्य रास कहते हैं और इस नित्य रास का वर्णन भागवत में नहीं है एंड इज नॉट मेंशन इन भागवतम आदि पुराण में हुआ है इट इज मेंशन इन आदि पुराण दूसरा रास है महारास एंड देन द सेकंड इज महारास अब 
and then there is Maharas. Since this Maharas also is of two types, don't get confused. The one is Vasanti, that is in Vasant Ritu. And then there is Sharadiye Mas or Ras. And if, let me give you the reference. This Vasanti is mentioned in Geet Govindam by Jayadev Goswami. Where he mentions, and this is the description of Vasanti Rasalila. And this Sharadiya Maharas is described by Sri Shukdev Goswami in Bhagavatam. So Nitya Ras ka Varanan Adi Purana mein. So the Nitya is mentioned in Adi Puran and Vasanti is mentioned. Maharas is mentioned in Guid Govindam and Sharadiya Maharas by Shukdev Goswami in Bhagavatam. So Shukdev Goswami asked that why did Krishna perform this Maharas? He says that to give relishment to the devotees and to give fortune to the Raga Anuga Bhaktas, Raga Tika Bhaktas. And for that he performed Ras. So let me share the words of Rasalila. The opening of this opens here. So it is mentioned in five chapters. So this is the first verse. Shri Badarayani Uvacha Bhagavan Apita Ratri Sharadot Pula Malika Viksharantum Manacha Kre Yoga Maya Mupa Shrita इसकी व्याख्या तो हम करेंगे सरल ट्राई टू ट्रांसलेट दिस अंडरस्टैंड इट दिस बट हियर भगवान अपिता ऑन द नाइट ऑफ शरद पूर्णिमा द नेक्टर वाज फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम द मून ब्यूटीफुल ब्यूटीफुल फ्लावर्स वर ब्लॉसमिंग एंड देवर सो मच फ्रेग्रेंस ऑफ द फ्लावर एंड बाय Looking at this beauty of Vrindavan, Mana Chakre, he got this desire. And when he got this desire, then he took the shelter of Yogamaya and he started this Rasali. So, translation is this. But if we want to elaborate and explain it, then we can spend our whole life. So, this is very beautiful. So let's understand the first word that Shukdev Goswami is about to see, speak. And the first word he says is Bhagwan. Just imagine how careful Shukdev Goswami is while speaking this beautiful Katha. He, he does, doesn't say, refers to him as Govindar Gopal. He gave a very heavy address of that. Oh, Parikshit, whose pastime is are we going to speak? That is Bhagwan. Because this is such topic that many people comment and can blame. So people should not think something bad and should not offend. So before that, he is giving the philosophy that the pastime that I'm going to speak is not the pastime of any ordinary person. 
it is not like the dandiya that you do i am speaking about who bhagwan so the krishna who i am going to speak about is the lord who is filled with all the opulences and why is he saying he is bhagwan because he is filled with all the opulences all the opulences belong to him and where there is no scope of any policy or shortcoming even in dream there cannot be any shortcoming he is infallible and there are so many beautiful secret things therefore he says this is the lord who has no shortcoming so you might feel that they are just dancing and singing but we should be careful that he is the lord the deformities of this material world cannot touch him and we are speaking going to speak about his person don't think that he is like us he is bhagwan he is transcendental to bhagwan beyond this material world so shukdev ji has spoken with such a balance and meter because shukdev ji is aware that i am going to speak on such a fast time this proclivity is like milk and this philosophy is a pot if the pot is strong then it will the milk can sustain it in it and and if this pot gets broken then all the milk will so, so we sh- so our philosophy should be strong when we are listening to the past times we should be very very careful and when we listen to this divine transcendental past times of the lord then what should be the caution in our mind we should have that he is bhagwan in our subconscious mind it should be fixed fixated that whatever we are listening that he is getting tired by yashoda he is being beaten by the gopis sometimes he is crying he is enjoying the mellows but on the back of our mind we should always remind be reminded that he is bhagwan so we should keep hold of this word bhagwan if we leave this word then we can fall down like the snake and ladder or 99 game i listen to the leela if you forget this that he is the lord then you will fall down so the caution should be taken that we should try to understand the philosophy behind and it should be fixated in our heart and i would like to add till the point we don't understand this that we should not listen to such past times let me share a history you all have heard about kita press gorakhpur he they have saved the eternal religion they have hosted the flock of eternal religion and founder acharya was bhairi bodhar and this goenka donation ke dwara sab chala rahe the and they were jab geeta press mein bhag taking care of this so when geet in geeta press bhagwat was getting printed then there was this decision that was taken that we will publish 335 chapters but these five panchatantra adhyayas or chapters will not be published we will just publish 330 chapters so we will minus these five so there was this great meeting because people won't be able to understand and then they will offend the lord then bhai shri podar gave his perspective he said this five chapters 
are the five life heirs of the Lord. And the Bhagavatam, how can we leave this behind? I understand or agree that people won't be able to understand it and there could be an offense. But then Jaydeya Goenkaji agreed that Hanuman Prasad Kodaj said that we will keep it, but you should write and you should give us a content on philosophy and we will print that in Bhagavatam and then we will write this Rasa Pancha Adhyay. So there are only verses and translation, but when this comes, then in many, many pages, this philosophy is explained in detail. So it implies that these divine transcendental pastimes of the Lord, to understand them, so what is this divinity? So let me share it with you. So we have understood the philosophy, Bhagavan. So now the pastor that is going to, when it can shake your faith. Then after Bhagavan is worth a peak. So the Acharya said, although the Lord, Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And what is the reason behind his divinity or transcendence? It is his form. Let me give you an example. When you go to your office, you wear formal clothes. So that suit, two piece or three piece. <laughs> the opulent we are four pieces, but for your information, our Lord Sri Krishna wears six pieces. Six piece suit hota hai. Hamara two piece, three piece, maximum four piece. Ki Krishna six our Lord wears six piece suit. Or Mahima Krishna ki isi liye hai. His glories are because he wears six piece suit. If you take a leaf from the churning of the milk ocean, Bholinath was wearing very less clothes and he was given poison which took him in six pieces and he married to Lakshmi ji. Some people say that we are in, out, inwardly we are very pure. How does it matter with the clothes? But when people look at you first, they will judge you from your clothes. So the Lord wears these six pieces and he is recognized by that. So in whatever form he comes, when will we realize when he comes in this six piece? ही किसी रूप में आकर नारायण मिल जाएगा पता नहीं किस रूप में आकर नारायण मिल जाएगा निर्मल मन के दर्पण में वह राम के दर्शन पाएगा निर्मल मन के दर्पण में वह राम के दर्शन पाएगा पता नहीं किसी रूप में आकर नारायण मिल जाएगा निर्मल मन के दर्पण में वो राम के दर्शन पाएगा मतलब किसी रूप में हमारे सामने भगवान आ गए तो पता है कैसे लॉर्ड अपीयर्स देन हाउ आर वी गोइंग टू रिकॉग्नाइज <laughs> these six pieces of clothes. <laughs> so what are these six pieces? Do you know? That is his opulence. Then fame, opulence, knowledge, renunciation. So these six opulences of Krishna are his six pieces. 
of clothes prabhu vicharan karta hai and he chetris kon sa hai rome is the samagra giri six opulences sampurna bal he has all the strength all the knowledge sampurna fame form sampurna beauty and renunciation sampurna aishwarya and opulence to ye chh so he wear these six opulences but ab dekho is shloka ab dekho ke if you look at this verse viksha bhagwan ne viksha dekha ke main to this lord so that i am in vrindavan vrindavan mein aakar usne kya kiya and what did he do here he moved all his six opulences ye jo ye ye madhusudan prabhu jo ऐसे चेन यहाँ तक पहन कर बैठे हैं ये 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 पहन कर सोने वाले हैं हम तो शाडिन गंजी वो गंजी में जानते हैं फटी हुई दो तीन जगह इस वेरिंग दिस जैकेट सो व्हेन ही इज गोइंग टू स्लीप ही विल पीस तो मेरे भी है पहन कर हम 24 घंटे रहते हैं इधर भी एंड ही सो वी डोंट वेयर 24/7 दिस क्लोथ्स वंस वी आर एट आवर होम विल आइदर वी आर अदर अपनी जगह नहीं है वेन वी आर नॉट एट अवर होम उसे छोड़ कर हम कहीं भी जाते हैं फॉर्मेलिटी एंड वीवियर appropriate clothes accordingly so except vrindavan wherever krishna goes he always wear these six opulences as we go in good clothes in a marriage procession din nikalti itna vajan dal ke jati hai सोचिए घर पर कब जाऊं और घर जाकर कान से यहां से वहां से निकाल कर फिर वो नाइटी पहन कर मैक्सी पहन कर रिलैक्स थिंक्स दैट आई हैव वेरी सो मेनी ऑर्नामेंट्स एंड ड्रेस हाउ व्हेन विल आई गो होम एंड आई विल जस्ट वेयर माय स्लीप नाइट वेयर पूरे हमारे पुरुष लोग दे इवन मेन एज़ वेल बाहर से आए सूट बूट वेयर दे कम सब कुछ जूता जूता निकाल ले टू होम दे जस्ट रिमूव ऑल देयर शूज सॉक्स एटसेट्रा so i think you will be a bermuda or a lung lekin apna jo matlab ye aadmi is roop mein kya hota hai apne ghar mein apne ghar so when you are at your own home then you krishna wear different clothes comfortable clothes so when ever krishna goes anywhere outside vrindavan then he carries all his or wears his six opulences but in vrindavan he removes all these opulences why because vrindavan is his home ab maine aapko ye 6 ginaya sabse so i have enumerated these six so first and foremost he removes his shri or anya jagah upar opulence of wealth even in dwarika you see wherever you see krishna he is always opulent but in vrindavan he removes it sahasra sahasra lakshmiyon ka nad gai se rata hai batao the lord of thousands and thousands of goddesses of fortune he gai se rata hai grazes the cows uska shri kitna mahan lekin braj vrindavan mein wo to palot pe rati so great is his opulence opulence but he sits at the lotus feet of shrimati radha rani who is served by god the fortune day and night he is served constantly by the goddesses of fortune the same krishna is made to dance just for a little but from it raskhan ji says that you are different in braj ganesh mahesh sur se hu jahi nirantar 
ત્યાવે નારદ છે સુખ વ્યાસ રહે પછી હારી પુની તવ પાર ન પાવે જાહી અનાદિ અખંડ અભેદ જો અનાદિ અખંડ અભેદ શેષ ગણેશ દિનેશ મહેશ રાત દિન લગે હે લેકિન આજ નહી પાપાય કમ્પ્લીટલી અંડરસ્ટેન્ડ dances on the tunes of the cowherd girls of raja for just half krishna ke glass of buttermilk to kaniya to he says i want this buttermilk he says that you will have to dance he dances for 45 minutes is it not like this you should dance in this manner in that time so they make him dance to 3 hours and then to give him just a little buttermilk such glorious lord but in vrindavan he has removed his opulences aadmi dhoka nahi kha jayega aparad nahi kar baithega isliye will not a person ye to maine kyon abhi shuru kiya offend the lord so that is why shukdev ji stresses on this word bhagwan that we should be careful that we should not forget this point that he is bhagwan the supreme personality of godhead aur ek quote kaun sa hai yash then his another opulence is fame wherever he goes his fame is sung his glories are sung yash rupi quote but this also is removed braj mein krishna ka yash kya chor hai he is known as the steel ye chor hai ye chhatti of the but uh, he is conceitful deceitful aap dekhte hain brajwasiyon ne krishna ko chor kaha right so brajwasis address him aur, as a thief gujarat walon ne krishna ko samaliya seth banaya and the gujaratis okay. have made him Ab, a seth bhagavat ki kripa se puri duniya mein ghumta hu so aur, by the mercy of bhagavat i go to a temple and i i meet you बहुत छोटे दास बनकर सेवक बनकर सो दे एंटर होटलों में होटलों में पहले इन होटल्स एंड होटल्स के बाद देखते हैं तो मैन मैन एस सर्वेंट एंड इन 2 3 इयर्स दे बिकम द मास्टर इन 2 3 इयर्स दे बिकम द ओनर किसी ने पूछा ऐसा क्यों समन सेड व्हाई हाउ दे सेड कृष्ण को चोर कहा यू ऑल हैव एड्रेस हिम एज और गुजरात वाले थीफ कृष्ण को एंड गुजरात these have made him a seat to krishna bhi gujaratiyon ko seat hi bana deta hai krishna has made them all entrepreneurs seat ban kar hi baithta hai or the boss to main ye keh raha tha ki duniya so i was just saying that he is famous but that is also removed by him as he became conceitful chiller thief okay of butter and the dress the clothes of the gopis of raja then the third is renunciation vairagya but that also is removed here what does he eat he eats 56 types of food items even if one thing is lacking he will not eat so kai bar mala chadti hai so many times he is offered bhoga in braj vrindavan and what is his past in that is with the gopis with conjugal love so where is the renunciation here every day he tells them i am unable to sleep without you so where is his renunciation so it implies that braj is such a place although krishna is the supreme personality of god but when he is in braj bhagwan banane wale jo court hai then all the elements that make him the supreme personality he removes them all madhur swarup and he comes in his sweet form and then he perform his proclivities with the residents of braj that is rasalila so what is the meaning of rasalila it is the past time where 
there is no opulence of the Lord. So, this renunciation, knowledge, fame, so all these six opulences are not presented or demonstrated that this is Ras, where there is only mellow, there is no formality, only divine transcendental love. So the things because of which he is venerated, these are lacking here or are not demonstrated here. That is why it is Ras. So in essence, Shukdev Goswami says Bhagwan. So we'll try to understand this further. So I just we take a pause here. So you all have been listening with so much great patience and love. I'm really grateful to all of you. I especially want to thank Parish Bhai Shruti Madhaj for organizing this beautiful katha. And have benefited all of us. So let's conclude. The third is Katha with Jerekar. Sri Krishna Chandra Bhagavan